Hi, I'm Matt Tugut from Raw Coffee Company. Hi, my name's Kim Thompson and I'm one of the owners of Raw Coffee Company. We are a Dubai-based uh, coffee, specialty coffee roastery uh, that's been operating since 2007 and we supply uh, com uh, countries all around the Gulf states, which is uh, Saudi, Kuwait, Bahrain, uh, Oman. Um, we have uh, just over 60 staff and we've been with Endeavour since 2016, so four years. I think that if I, if I remember back 12 years ago, which is a little bit hard, what we did back then is we did everything together. Yep. Right? So every process or every iteration of the company, we actually did it together. So we both learned together because yep. there was a huge amount of learning that we were doing. Yep. Um, I think that, yes, I came in with different strengths to you, but those strengths were put in the closet for at least three months, uh, three years, because it was about developing our product. Well, I think you could take that back then to the fact that both of us learned about coffee yes. at the same time. Yes. We both thought we knew something, but as we started the business, we realized there was a lot more to learn. Yeah. And then there was also all the other things associated with the product that we had to learn about. Yeah, but like today, like often we don't even see each other. No. Right? And so one of the things that I think is a huge advantage that we have is that today we still share an office. So by osmosis, by phone calls and things that you have, I will, on occasion when I can hear them, mm -hmm. actually pick up on what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's, we don't have to spend the whole time debriefing each other. It is very interesting when you get to a certain size of business, the dynamic completely changes. You don't get, unfortunately, to do that hands deep type work. I remember going through the international selection for Endeavour where the interna international selection committee recognised that we were both doing everything together and that we, their recommendation was that we had to select one of us to be the CEO. Now we both do completely different roles in the company. We have a very, very structured way. I act as the CEO worrying about the uh, financials and the oper you know the operations mm -hmm. side where you're doing a lot more of the HR people side and the actual production of the coffee roasting. Mm -hmm. But we have a mutual thing that we both do together, which is actually yeah. buying the coffee, yep. right? So we still have that connection, but we're doing different parts of the business, um, which we had to now because now yep. we've got a team of 60. As you, grow, yeah. you know, um, you, you have to have that division. Yep. You have to have core responsibilities. Yep. Um, otherwise, it just you're never going to move yep. forward. So if I was going to give some uh, advice about uh, setting up a co-partnership uh, to an entrepreneur, there's a couple of things that I would be really, really uh, positive about. The first one is have a very clear definition about what you're trying to achieve as a business and make sure that co-founder shares that vision, right? Don't think purely about financials. What does the business deliver as a core thing? That's super, super important. If you don't have that alignment, you're really, really gonna struggle. And then, both really understand the business exceptionally well, yeah. right? Don't don't go off and think, okay, so I'm good at accounting, I'm gonna do just the accounting and I'm not gonna understand sales. That would be a disaster. If you don't understand your business from the front door to the back door, uh, you don't have to know how to you know, do it or you don't have to do it every day, but you need to know about your business from front to back. So you've got your business idea and you think you need a, a, a co-founder to work with. Be super, super clear if you want a co-founder, if you want a partner, or you want an investor. They're three completely different things. A co-founder is someone that you share core values and you've got an alignment directly with what you're going to achieve as a business. Someone that complements your skills, so you've got different skill set to you, would be a help. A partner is often somebody that you're going to work where you both bring certain skill sets, but you're not necessarily completely aligned. And then an investor is someone with money. And there's a complete difference between all those three things. So be very careful what you're looking for, and then that'll help you decide who you're gonna partner or co-found or invest with. 